Hello, I am Puneet Kumar, going to present you a very useful algorithm, expectation maximization. In short, we call this EM algorithm. Content. In, start with the introduction, history, basic of probability, single Bernoulli random variable, mixture of two Bernoulli random variable. That is motivation for EM algorithm. Now, example and exercises, application, useful link and references. Introduction Expectation maximization algorithm used to find the value of model parameter when model involves some unobserved or latent variable. History EM algorithm explained in 1977 by A. Donald Stur and Lyad and Donald Rubin. They find out that this method proposed many times by different authors in very special circumstances. In 1977, they generalized it and presented it as very powerful tool for inference. Basic of probability. Probability is simply number of favorable cases upon number of existing cases generated by P of X. Condition probability. Probability of happening of some event X1 when X2 is already happened. Is, that is probability of X1 given X2 or probability of X2 given X1. Joint probability. Probability of X1 and X2 together is called joint probability. And we can find out using chain rule that is joint probability of x1 and x2 is equal to probability of x2 given x1 into probability of x1 is uh, uh, and or equal to probability of x1 given x2 and probability of x2 independence joint probability of x1 and x2 is given by probability of x1 into probability of x2 when both are independent Base rule. When probability of uh, x2 x1 given x2 is given, and we are interested in finding out the probability of x2 given x1, then we use base rule. Here the formula. And random variable. Random variable is simply mapping from all element of the sample space to the set of real number. That is omega to r. A discrete random variable. Discrete random variable are those which take value from the discrete set of numbers. And a probability mass function is used to calculate the probability of the discrete random variable and the notation is given here. Continuous random variable. Continuous random variable are those which take value from the continuous set of the number and probability density function is used to calculate the probability of the uh, continuous random variable. And then uh, in this, we use integration to calculate the probability of density function. Expected value. Expected value is just the average or mean of the random variable x and uh, uh, is denoted by e of x is equal to summation of all xi into pxi. Bernoulli random variable. Bernoulli random variable are special type of the random variable which can take the value 1 with the success probability p or 0 with the failure probability q that is 1 minus p and denoted by probability of x q1 small x is equal to p if x is equal to 1 or 1 minus p is x is equal to 0 and in compact form we can represent this is equal to probability of x given uh, is equal to p raised, uh, raised to power x that is success raised to power x and 1 minus p that is failure raised to power 1 minus x. Here the general rule uh, outcome space contains the um, exper uh, random experiment of tossing coin with success as head and failure as the tail that is t and h, h. and we map this to the 0 and 1 with the p as the success probability and 1 minus p as the failure probability. Independent and identically distributed random variable that is IID random variable. If each random variable are drawn independently from the same distribution is called IID random variable. 
that is it has the same value for the distribution parameter a model that include id random variable is called id model with the sum parameter theta let x is equal to x1 x2 and x1 are the id random variable then probability of x is equal to probability of joint probability of x1 x2 up to xn is is equal to probability of x1 into probability of x2 into probability of x3 up to probability of xn motivation model parameter theta for model that include bernoulli random variable is p and uh, let x be the collection of the bernoulli random variable that is 1001101 and then probability of x given theta is equal to success probability of success raised to power number of 1 number of success into 1 minus p that is probability of failure raised to power number of failures that is probability of x given theta is equal to p raised to power 4 into 1 minus p raised to power 3 this is called likelihood let we have uh, to mixing of two coins c1 and c2 with different probability of p1 and p2 respectively uh, that is uh, let we have a string h h t t s t that can come from either c2 coin or either from c1 coin with the probability of alpha 1 and alpha 2 respectively here we have model parameter theta is equal to alpha 1 alpha 2 p1 p2 then can we find out the probability of x1 given theta in mm, this is not simple as we did earlier for this we use em algorithm to find the probability of x1 given theta expectation maximization algorithm em approach we complete the data by introducing a latent variable latent variable z is a two cross one vector in that uh, for the ith outcome indicating which coin was used for I ith toss z j i is equal to 1 if j th coin produce the i th outcome joint probability probability of x and z given parameter theta is equal to alpha time Bernoulli of x into p1 where Bernoulli of x into p1 is equal to success raised to power number of success into failure raised to power number of failure if uh, and uh, alpha 2 into Bernoulli of x into p2 x comma p2 is equal to if z j is equal to 2 that is outcome is by the coin 2 by combining and taking the logarithm both side we get this logarithmic of probability of x z given theta is equal to summation i goes from 1 to n z 1 i means outcome by coin 1 logarithm of alpha times Bernoulli of x1 xi into p1 plus outcome produced by the coin 2 that is z2i logarithm of alpha 2 multiplied by Bernoulli of xi in comma p2 this expression is taken from the last slide and uh, we come back this expression by introducing one new summation that is j goes from 1 to 2 z j i and we are taking the expectation both side that is the expectation of logarithm of probability of x comma z given parameter theta uh, and gi uh, given x and theta t where theta t is the current model parameter and now we move the expectation inside the summation and that um, we have um, expectation of zji given x and theta t where theta t is current model parameter e step uh, this expression taken from the last slide and let we have new variable gamma j i is equal to j i and which is equal to this expectation of zji given x comma theta and expectation of x j uh, j i is equal to the 1 into probability of z j i is equal to 1 plus 0 into probability of z j i is equal to 0 
and we can calculate the probability of zji is equal to one given x comma theta by using Bayes rule and let we have function q theta comma theta t which is uh, equal to the first line after replacing the expectation by the variable gamma ji and uh, we now replace Bernoulli of x comma pi by its expression and step here we modify the model parameter by using arg max theta q th uh, theta comma theta t that is we find out the value of the parameter theta that maximize q theta comma theta t and make it theta t plus 1 and we use uh, do this by using calculus that is by differentiating q theta comma theta t with respect to the parameter theta and estimate the value of the parameter like here we have value of the alpha j t plus uh, 1 is equal to average of gamma j i and simply uh, similarly p j t plus 1 is equal to summation of gamma j x i upon summation of gamma j i as discussed earlier uh, we have two step One, first is expectation step that is estimate the probability of gamma j i and this is given by this expression and second one is maximization step which is, is to estimate the parameter and modify the value of the parameter using arg max of q theta comma theta t example here the two coin a and b with the model parameter theta as p a and p b and coin is selected and tossed five times this experiment is repeated five times and we have to find out the model parameter p a and p b if we know which coin is tossed then it's very simple and let's say we get this pattern of tossing uh, coin five times and uh, we know the which coin we used for tossing and we can calculate the number of head and tail uh, of respective uh, coin that is uh, if we use coin a then number in first uh, row we get 3h comma 2t and uh, similarly if we use coin b then we calculate number of head and number of tail for that and we sum number of head and number of tail of respective column and we get 6h comma 90 for coin a and 6h comma 40 for coin b and we can uh, we use maximum likelihood method to know the parameter value that is pa is equal to 6h plus uh, upon sorry 6h plus 90 and this pb is equal to 6h upon 6h plus 40 but if we don't know which coin we used for the experiment then we use am method in this method we initialize the value of the model parameter let's say we initialize p is equal to 0.6 and pb is equal to 0.5 and start with the initial value of the model parameter and we have uh, different result of the different experiment and in each step we calculate that is this experiment use coin A with the probability of 0.52 and with the coin B with 0.48 we calculate these values by using this formula okay this is the probability that uh, uh, show us that coin a is used in experiment 1 uh, with 0.5 and coin b used with 0.48 then we calculate the expected number of the head and tail for the coin a and b this is course uh, start with the m step 
and in m step we calculate the value of the model parameter updated value of the model parameter by summing separately all value of head and tail for coin a and coin b then we calculate this using maximum likelihood principle that is p a is equal to 6.21 h upon 6.21 h plus 0.5 t and then repeat this step that is calculate the expected probability and update the value of the parameter this process goes until the value of the parameter converges and we get the final value of the parameter after convergence application this is widely used in medical image reconstruction and uh, used in structure identification of different object and used in unsupervised clustering and deal with missing data. Uh, here we have exercise for you that is find the model parameter for an experiment that involves two coin C1 C2 with the model parameter P1, P2 respectively. The experiment consists of tossing a coin 10 times and this experiment is repeated 10 times. This uh, exercise is same as the exam example we did in last slide. Here we have useful links. First three are of machine learning. That is, first one is the um, co uh, course on machine learning by Tom Michel. Second one is uh, uh, course on machine learning by Nardo at uh, University of British Columbia and uh, third one is a book uh, uh, on machine learning as a, a prof probabilistic perspective by Kevin Murphy and uh, last two are the um, for uh, probability that is course on uh, probability and static uh, on uh, MIT and this uh, last one is the uh, book on probability that Prasanna Sahu uh, probability and mathematics uh, mathematical statics here are the references first one is book on probability by Kishore Trivedi second one is uh, book on pattern and machine learning by Bishop and third one is reference to the expectation maximization of uh, Wikipedia thanks for watching I hope that will be beneficial for you